Diseases are terrifying. They seemingly show up out of nowhere and start spreading like wildfire. People who may have even been involved with starting an epidemic may not even know that they did. This is exactly what happened to baby Lewis, who must have had a bad stomach. Her dirty diapers were soaked in tepid water and thrown into a cesspool. This outbreak could have been prevented if it weren't for clumsy mistakes on the parents. The world has constantly been evolving throughout all of time and won't stop now. There is a lot more to develop on in terms of technology, innovation, and other things. The most impressive one, however, is science and how it has changed within the last 200 years. Before we dig deep inside the depths of what this epidemic was capable of, let me first introduce myself. My name is Chris, a 2B junior in high school and an experienced podcast creator. I'd like to thank Stephen Johnson, the author of The Ghost Map, for making the creation of The World Has Changed, Episode 1, London vs. Cholera Possible. The Ghost Map, the story of London's most terrifying epidemic and how it changed science, cities, and the modern world, published by Riverhead Books, with a total of 262 pages, can be found at Amazon for a paperback price of 1523. The story of how cholera came around is a long one and too much to summarize in one podcast. This is why I highly suggest you go read the novel after listening to this to gain the whole picture of the journey. This book is like a roller coaster in terms of the events that play out. At one point, the epidemic goes away but comes back again only a few years later. Also, the way that science and research are interpreted by the government can be frustrating as a reader. The positive part about this is that the reader will be on the side of that research with a man by the name of Jon Snow. A description from page 58 states, Jon Snow was in his 42nd year and since his early 30s he had by any measure enjoyed a remarkable streak of professional achievement. Unlike most members of the medical establishment or the sanitary reform movement, Snow had been born into a family of modest means, the eldest son of a Yorkshire laborer. Have you ever wondered about the process it takes to track down a disease? I know I have, which makes me feel satisfied that I read this book. Johnson makes the reader feel like they're on an expedition with Jon Snow until the end. At one point in the story, the author starts talking about the process of surgery in the 1800s and gives a really interesting description of what it was like. On page 62, Johnson states, Where sheer physical brutality was concerned, there was little in Victorian society that rivaled the professional medical act of surgery. Lacking any form of anesthesia beyond opium or alcohol, both of which could, be, could only be applied in moderation given their side effects, surgical procedures were functionally indistinguishable from the most grievous forms of torture. This part alone would have me terrified as a person living in that period. Stephen Johnson is an influential writer who has written books like Where Good Ideas Come From, The Natural History of Innovation, and Everything is Bad for You. Johnson's work on innovation even inspired the Emmy-nominated six-part series on PBS, How We Got to Now with Stephen Johnson. Johnson is just a person who wants to impact the world greatly and share his studies and ideas as a nonfiction author. A quote from the Washington Post states, Johnson is a clear, lively writer with an aversion to jargon and knack for crafting offbeat analogies. In my personal experience of reading nonfiction books, the ones that can create a story out of real life events are usually the most interesting. Little to no people want to read a book just about facts because it won't keep them engaged throughout. The story is easy to follow along and the reader is more likely to finish the book due to the suspense of wanting more. In conclusion, The Ghost Map is not a book you will want to pass up, especially if you enjoy learning about London. Again, I am Chris, and I was your host in the podcast, The World Has Changed, Episode 1, London vs. Cholera. Thank you again to the author of The Ghost Map, who made this podcast possible. And thank you for taking the time to listen and learn about this book and my thoughts on it. I hope you all enjoy, and remember to stay clear of disease.